Welcome to another episode of Dr. Fantastic Cooks. And today I'm going to show you how to cook something without using heat. And before I tell you what it is, I've got a little story for you. But I want you to go to the comments and be honest and tell me what you think you can cook without heat. Okay? Now, if you've been following my, uh, my cooking shows, I always think it's a really fantastic idea to have a nice cold drink while you're cooking. Cocktail or beer. And it's really hot in, in Egypt, so a beer sounds very fantastic. Now, uh, I bought a new knife. Very exciting. Very sharp. Having the right tools in cooking is very important. So having a sharp knife is makes it easy, but you can catch yourself very easily. So be careful with that. But I want to um, before I teach you, teach you this fantastic recipe, and it's delicious. And I, I have a lot of delicious recipes on BeFantasticToday.com. Uh, I've had a lot of cooking episodes. <clears throat> At any rate, so I'm living in Egypt, as you know, and they don't speak English all the time. And I only have like four channels that I watch on television, a couple movie channels and BBC. And yesterday, uh, I couldn't get my television to work. And of course, it's in a different language. Um, and all I can get was radio, and I couldn't get my TV show. So I said, okay, fantastic, let's listen to some music. You know, you can't let things out of your control affect you. So I didn't let it affect me. Uh, I started listening to some music. And there's music from all over the world. But I was flipping around, and I found... It was, it's called Nile FM 104.2, and they're speaking English. <laughs> this is fantastic. And they're playing you know, music I like, and the young lady, uh, DJ, was using the word fantastic. And they're giving out these phone numbers very quickly, it took me a couple times to figure out the number. And I, I said, what the hell, I'm going to call the number. Because one, she's speaking English, and two, she's saying the word fantastic. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I called her up, and it's like in America, you'll never get through to a radio station. But here, I guess it's pretty easy. And she picked up the phone, and I introduced myself, and, and we got along fabulously. And uh, I even called in again today, because she has these topics each day. And uh, today's topic was, she wanted to know, oh, she has fantastic weekends, but when she comes back to work, she's not, she doesn't have the energy. And so I, I gave her a little speech about loving what you do, uh, and that was fun. And so she's, uh, she's called me Dr. Fantastic on the radio, which is pretty cool. At any rate, so we're going to get back to cooking. Um, and, you know, everything happens as it should, even today. Uh, I was trying to get some money transferred, and I had a very difficult time. Went into the wrong store, because they don't have the right names, when I was given some directions. And I met a guy who said he knew, knew me, met me before, called me Dr. Fantastic. And he spoke English, which was fantastic, and he helped me out. And we became friends. He's a new ambassador now. And... Uh, it really was fantastic. It was very, very helpful. So it, it, it turned out very well today. Circumstance. Every turn in your life is correct. So let's get to cooking. Cooking's a lot of fun. For 505 days, I've been telling you, my first cooking episodes were in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I've been telling you to get the kids in the kitchen, and show them how to cook, um, teach your wife how to cook, teach your husband how to cook. A uh, family that cooks together, prepares a salad, eats together, it's fantastic, especially in these COVID times. So, what I'm going to cook is today is ceviche, and it is delicious. And it's not always easy cooking for one, but if you enjoy cooking, it's the process of cooking. So, I normally would get a big shrimp, raw, and you're going to learn how to cook it in a second, uh, and chop it up. But So, I got those just the regular small ones today. <clears throat> now, uh, what cooks the shrimp is lemon juice or lime juice. So these are the little limes that they have in um, my little melons. <laughs> these are the little limes that they have in Egypt. And uh, when I make my salads, I've been eating salads lately, exercising. I've been taking my own advice. Grow a garden, exercise, I do a lot of cooking. Uh, these I use two of these in a salad. Squeeze the juice out, chop, do my chopped salad. You know, I, uh, you see my recipes for chopped salad. And uh, so there's no oil, healthy, delicious. All you need is that, two of these, a little uh, lemon juice or whatever, for your salad dressing. Because uh, with all the other um, tomato and everything, it just works out well. So here's the ingredients. Um, tomato, onion, cilantro, and some green peppers. 
So now it's about a little less than a quarter of a kilo. So I'm going to put one tomato. Can you see the slicing? Yeah, I like a, about a quarter of an inch strip. Look, look how easy it slices with a nice sharp knife. Okay, so you slice the toma tomatoes. You say tomato, I say tomato, 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 potato, potato. Let's call this a famous song. Let's call the whole thing off. So you cut it into little squares like that. You take a couple of those like that and just go one, two, three. Spin it. One. And this is how I make my chopped salads as well. Because every bite you take of your salad has uh, lots of different flavors. Now what I've been putting in my salads is the tomato, cucumber, uh, squash, raw, everything raw. Uh, I think you should eat everything raw. Uh, and I've been putting some tuna every once in a while. I found some sardines for less than a dollar. Oh, delicious. I haven't been putting them in the salad, but I've been putting some tuna in the salad. And sometimes I'll put an egg in the salad, and sometimes I'll put chicken in the salad. So there's lots of different ways of making salads. Okay, so there you go. As you can see that there, there's the tomato. And it's about, you know, you know, one thing about cooking is, you like tomato, put more tomato in. Um, it's about the same. Uh, you can, you know, baking, you need a pre precision. Uh, cooking, you could just, you know, if you don't like onions, guess what? Don't put them in it, all right? I don't know, lately these red onions seem to be very, very hard. Okay, so you saw what I did there. Now again, slice three different directions. Horizontal, vertical, and whatever the other one's called. All the same size. Looking good there. I like onions. Uh, I probably maybe put some garlic in this as well. So there we go. There's the onion. I'm gonna oh, put it on there. Put that. I like it. A lot of onion. Uh, there's the cilantro. Let me put that over there. Cilantro. See the cilantro there? Very nice. I don't fight it too often here. Okay, now. The peppers, I usually put jalapeno peppers, but they don't have jalapeno peppers here. Or I haven't found the ones I like anyway. And so we're gonna we're gonna go like this down the middle here. Always put your knuckles in when you're slicing so you don't slice your fingertips off. Take the seed out, beat it out like that, beat it out, beat the hell out of it. Okay? Then Again, with your knuckles turned in, see what I'm doing here? You know, have fun, you know. It's, it's like uh, in, in Egypt here, they'll uh, make this um, or Turkish tea, tea. <laughs> it's the process of the making of it. It takes 15, 20 minutes to make it. and. Uh, I don't have patience for that, but it's the process. Because you know, it takes about, sometimes it can take hours to cook a meal and five minutes to eat it. Okay, so there you have the ingredients. And now I squeezed, see, I was gonna make more, but I didn't squeeze enough lemons. This is lemons, green lemons. They don't have yellow lemons here. And it's lemons and um, limes. So what I'm gonna do here is cover the entire amount with the, with the juice. There you go, see? I even put a little pulp in there. I don't mind pulp. And now it's going to cook it. I'm supposed to have a spoon here. But as I don't have a spoon, and this is live, and I never do second takes, that is a bowl of ceviche. Probably, um, you know what I'm doing? I'm going to put a little bit more um, tomato, in, I mean not tomato, um, shrimp. I didn't think I was going to have enough juice. But anyway, it's, it's going to take a couple hours in the fridge and it's delicious. So there's your recipe for today. Cold beer, ceviche, life is fantastic. 
And what else is fantastic? Is the company I'm working with, BookingCW.com. The best prices on flights, air, um, hotels, uh, cruises, everything, uh, nannies, uh, dog sitters, pet, pet sitters, um, fantastic, uh, they're, they're, they're called the Worldwide Luxury Concierge Service, and they can get you into Heidi Klum's Halloween Bash, Elton John's inaugural ball, uh, training with an astronaut in Russia, um, playing with a Wimbledon champion or sitting in the Royal Box. These are things you can buy at BookingCW.com. They're fantastic. So um, I'm their brand ambassador. I'm very happy to be working with them. And uh, there you go. A little cooking, a little pitch out for BookingCW. Life's fantastic. Everyone, be fantastic. Say, have a fantastic day when you're done with a conversation, when you're saying goodbye to someone. Watch the energy transfer. Watch how fantastic things happen. You'll live longer, be happier, live, um, make the world a better place. Bye-bye. So, I did actually squeeze enough lemon juice on the, the quarter kilo I bought of, of shrimp. And I'm going to put a little salt, a little pepper in there. And that's what it should look like. You just put it in the fridge, make sure everything's buried in, in the lemon juice, the lime juice. And you're going to have some fantastic ceviche in a bit. See you later. Then uh, with the time, and can I just say, I just got off the phone with Dr. Fantastic, and he really is, he really is fantastic. I had a really, really cool conversation with him. Really cool guy with a lot of positive, positive energy. Uh, Dr. Fantastic, thank you so much for giving me a call. You really made my Sunday. Right, I've got to remind you that... Welcome to the Be Fantastic channel, where you will find many fantastic interviews with amazing people. Visit the top world museums, incredible zoos, beautiful national parks, special events and much more. These videos are designed to educate, inspire, motivate and entertain you. We hope you will enjoy them. Join the Be Fantastic philosophy. Please subscribe, like and share.